Let's go. All right. Yeah, always my feeling. I have like a strategy that my first exercise will be heavy as fuck. Uh, we are always like trying to improve that the weights on my first set uh, or, or my first exercise. But other than that, I just like to get a nice pump. It has to take me this far, and I think it will take me much fur further just by being consistent and stay dedicated. So today we are in a place called Engenholm, uh, down south in Sweden. Uh, and uh, we are about to do some do some chest. I love doing like heavy bench presses, heavy dumbbells. I always try to do the the, the heavy movements inclined because I have a hard time hitting the, the upper chest fibers. Uh, so I always try to make these fibers work as much as I can in every movement. It's not like Ron is 200, but they will do it. They will work. There's not like only one road to the top. You have to figure out your own. Uh, you have to find what works best for you and just stick with that because there is a lot of people who will tell you what to do but you should listen to some point but in the end of the day you should you should just go after what you think works best for you It's a nice movement to, uh, to target the inner pec, so you get that real like filly, filly chest. Uh, so if you have a problem to like getting that deep, deep cut between the pecs, this shit is bomb. This particular exercise is mostly to, to, um, to target the inner pec, so you get that deep cut. Uh, you can also do this with dumbbells, uh, but then you have to 
stabilize the, the movement. So when you're doing in, in a Smith machine, you will just have to do the movement and just feel the fibers working without this shit. So now when I'm pretty tired in my chest, I uh, switched off to a already loaded machine and I will do a, a rest pause in every, in every rep. So I will push the, this way, rest, and then the rest to just get really much blood in here. tired I always have the problem that with my shoulders will take over the pump so uh, when I do this with the rest pause I get much more contraction in the chest and I have more stability and I just think it's nice to finish up some rest pauses <laughs> Since I always get a, a nice big pump in my shoulders when training chest, uh, I also like to finish off my chest sessions with some shoulders. So we're gonna superset some presses with some lateral raises and just get the blood flowing and see what happens. <laughs> guys to remember something uh, and that is like bodybuilding it's not a sprint it's a marathon so stay dedicated and just keep going keep going after your goals so right now we are here in uh, actually we are in Engelholm uh, but I live in uh, Helsingborg uh, which is uh, down south in Sweden uh, and this is where I train, this is where I grow, and this is, this is where I will keep growing. Yeah. 